Hello and welcome to the sixth section of the course. In the previous section, we discussed security and various options to implement in Web API. In this section, we will start talking about dependency injection and continue discussing caching with demo and end this section with versioning concept and examples. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with dependency injection. In this video, we will understand the concept and its implementation in ASP.NET Web API. We will start with talking about dependency injection and how ASP.NET Core supports it. Then we will talk about inbuilt container and various options to register the services. First, let's discuss what is dependency injection. Dependency injection is a design pattern which uses inversion of control to resolve dependencies. In it, all the dependencies, objects or services, are injected in the dependent object. This design pattern is very common nowadays and every team strive to use it. The key reason for this benefit, it helps in writing modular, unit testable and maintainable application. Microsoft realized the same and made the new ASP.NET Framework DI ready and all of its framework services are injected. Like in startup.cs, we have added MVC, Entity Framework, Formatters, etc. By default, ASP.NET Core itself provides minimalistic dependency injection container that can be used for custom services like we used for repository. For advanced usage, any DI container like Ninject, Structure Map, etc. can be used. We have already seen the same for our custom services repository that we injected via constructor in our books and author controller. Let's revisit how we used repository and see other various options. As discussed earlier, that configure services method allows us to add or register services for the application, and here we have added repository. In this code, I have added repository via add scoped, which accepts interface and implementation. Similarly, Book context cedar is added via add transient method. Repository is used in controller and injected via constructor. ASP.NET Core itself registers all the services which can be injected in the entire application. We can see that the identity here is also registered. It provides four options to add register any services as add transient. It creates new instance of the service every time it is accessed. If for a single request you have injected it at four places, then four new instances would be created. Add scope. Here the instance is created once in a request lifecycle. Add singleton. As the name says, it creates only one instance for the application and same is shared in multiple requests. Add instance. The only difference between add singleton and add instance is that as mentioned, we let the ASP.NET create the instance and manage that but here, we ourselves create the instance and register the same. So, what are the better options? It depends on the requirement. It's better to use add scoped or add transient. If the same service is used multiple times in a request, the earlier option can be used, else former. The other two options are similar and should be used only when you want to maintain a state across multiple requests or if creating the instance is very costly because it will be residing in memory till application lifetime. Another way to inject the service via property is from services and property name. We have both options for injecting the services, constructor and property. Normally constructor option is preferred because all the dependencies get injected at one place and we are sure that all these are initialized when object gets created. Using property injection looks simple because it can be injected when needed, but you may need to have extra validation before its usage, whether it's properly initialized. In this video, we have seen how ASP.NET Core itself is dependency injection friendly, and all the framework service also registered. For custom services, it provides four options to register based on the lifetime, and then we saw that how to use these services at various components.